need you to cancel all my appointments. I'm leaving tomorrow. Yes, sir. And Jim needs to finalize that Thompson deal on Monday. So how long will you be away, a sir? A week. And get me some water to the boardroom. Sure, sir. What happened? I ask you to seal the deal. Not totally blast it. Ralph, Where tried. is my water? They literally didn't give us enough time to close the deal. How do you expect to close a deal if you are late? And now you bring my water. Now you bring. How on earth did you get this job? You are useless. Just. I was busy, sir. I'm so sorry. Busy. I don't want your excuses. I want the results. Get out of here. Sorry. Useless. Jim, I want you in my office. We need to discuss this meeting. I have another yours. meeting scheduled in an hour. Can we? Mary, I'm busy. I can't talk right now. Honey, I just want to know if you will be home for dinner. No, I can't. Um, I've got documents that I must finish. Um, Julia, please call Monica to my office and just pull yourself together. Ralph, don't be so rude. Just pack me a suitcase. I'm leaving tomorrow. You always leave us when we need you the most. Mary, I can't do this right. I really can't do this right now. scripture that you must stay? Yeah, I got scripture that I should stay. I got it. God's busy working. Okay, don't tell me that you've prayed for nothing. Ralph will change. Okay? Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Don't give up. Okay. Okay. Everything will work out the way God planned. Are we still on for lunch? Yeah, we are. Um, Ralph says that you've got an appointment. Okay. Um, to wrap up the Thompson appointment, and then we have an appointment here at 2 o'clock. He's in his office? Yeah, but Monica's in there with him. They're getting their bit of action for today, are they? You can't say that, you don't know for sure. Oh, everyone can see that they're more than friends. Yes? Sir, I brought you the file you left in the boardroom this morning. Thanks. Did Julia tell you what time the meeting is? Yes, she did, but why do I tell them? Well, this thing is still in the beginning stages, so discuss your marketing plans for them. And uh, when I come back, I'll take it from there. I've asked Monica to help you. Yeah. So um, any details, anything that you need, ask her, please don't phone me. Will do. At least there wasn't any action to walk in on. Yeah, but we need to stop because now we're just gossiping. Okay, sorry. Sarah, please bring your brothers back from the car. Okay, Mom.
You need anything? Um, okay. We'll feel better soon. Love you, Mommy. Have you seen that new shop that opened in the mall? Yes, I have. I just haven't had time to get to it. You don't understand the clothes in there. They have this dresses and, and t-shirts, but... Sarah, did you lock the car? Yes, of course. Um, I love the handbags. Where's the keys? I'll put them on the table. Charles, sorry. Hi. Hi, ma'am. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm worried about Johnny. So, and the boy? Nathan asked me to use Matric Farewell. What? When is it? Next Friday. Oh. Matric Farewell? When are we supposed to shop for a dress? I, I don't know. I, Nathan just asked me today. Which of your friends are going with you? None of them. And why is that? Because they weren't asked. Yeah. Mom, please, can I go? I mean... Please, Mom, can I go? Sarah, I'll need to think about this. Please, Mom, it's everybody who has dream of going in and I get the chance to go. You, you can't take this away from me. Sarah! We'll need to discuss this with your father. We need his permission as well. We'll talk about this later. I don't even know the boy. Mama, his name is Nathan. Knowing his name doesn't mean that I know him. Mom, you can even meet him before we go. Why are we back there? Your dad's going on a business trip. Don't you want to get his toiletries for me, please? Thank you. Don't you have homework to do? It's just too much. And I don't know if I'm going to get it done in time. Just start with something. I'll come and help you with the rest later. You know, I won't mind if you go talk to the principal about giving us less homework. Mm. <laughs> you won't be so lucky. Mom? Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry about the way I spoke to you today. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. One life lesson. Always treat others the way you want to be treated. Okay. Thanks, Mom. What are you doing here? Sorry sir, I was just finishing up. Please keep going, I need this place quiet. All things are possible to him who believes. What? Nothing sir. Just get out of here. Good night sir. What are you doing here? Getting what I want and more. Oh girl, you are bad, you are bad. How late are you going to leave tomorrow? Ah, uh, Frank's picking me up tomorrow afternoon. <sighs> and uh, he's picking me up the bucky. His wife, wife is using an SUV. Hey, Mom. Hello. Want some? What are you up to? Nothing much. <laughs> hmm. Sarah? Actually, <laughs> I know you. I was just actually wondering if you've thought about the magic farewell. I did. But getting a dress 
on such short notice is going to be a problem. And that boy thing. You know, Julia has no stresses and, and, and mom, don't worry about Nathan. He's a real good guy. I'll give her a call tomorrow and see if she's got something pretty for you. Why can't we just go to her now and ask her in person? Sarah, it's late and she's gone already. Let's just go and check, please, Mom. What about your brother? We can just ask Chelsea to look after him. She's gone to her room already. No, man, I just saw her in the kitchen. It's late and I still have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Please, Mom. While we're going that way, please get your father something to eat. Thanks, Mom. Chelsea! I'm coming. What you doing? I'm just quickly whipping something up for my dad. Can I help with something? I really, really need to persuade him. So, have you... Any There's ideas? some fruit. Do you know how much he likes fruit salad? Oh, good idea, good idea. Chelsea, I need you to keep an eye on Johnny for me. We're going to Ralph's offices. He's working late again. No problem, ma'am. I'll be here when you get back. You can call me on my cell phone if you need me. I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, you better hurry up, dear. Okay. I'm going to the car salon. No, leave this. I think that's everything. Thank you. Sarah, coming! What are you going to tell them to change their minds? <sighs> I really don't know. But whatever it is, I'm just going to have to change their minds. Since I don't have any time to spend with you before you leave tomorrow, I just want to make sure that you know what you're missing out on. Before you show me, I have one question. Why on earth do you look so damn hot? I know all the effort you've put into this business, but this, I didn't expect. Mary, wait! Mary, wait. Sarah, go wait in the car. But Mom, Sarah just goes. What is Sarah doing here? She was thinking about her daddy, to bring him some food while he's working late. It's not how it seems, it's all a misunderstanding. What is it supposed to look like, Ralph? She took me. She came on to me. It's all misunderstanding. Mary, it's not just my fault. It's you that love everything else besides me. Don't even go there, Ralph. You are the one that loves this job more than you love me or your children. I was thinking about you guys all the time. Don't even think about coming home tonight. You can't do that. I can. Don't come home. I will send your suitcase to you. What about the children? I want to say goodbye to them. They weren't important to you before. Why now? You didn't give him the chance to see them important. You are the last one to speak to me about importance. How can you sleep at night knowing that you are the one wrecking a family? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to say that. Was this all a game to you? No, it's all real to me. I'm, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to hurt you. Everything we have is real. It's not a mistake. I'm sorry and I know I shouldn't say it, but Monica, I love you, Monica. Mary, 
How does it feel not to be wanted? Is he ever going to be happy with you again? Will he ever be good enough? Deal with the fact that your husband is happier with me. Monica, what's going to prevent him from doing the same to you? Was that with that woman? Is, is that why you sent me back to the car? Mom? Was that with that woman? Yes. Sarah, please. Please, let's just go. Chelsea? How's Johnny doing? Oh, he was still sleeping the last time I checked. Hi Sarah, how was your evening? Okay. Sarah, good night. I caught Ralph with another woman tonight. What? No way! Please keep it to yourself. I don't want Johnny to find out. And I don't want the world to find out. I think you should go away for the weekend so the kids can keep themselves busy. You need time to think. I might consider it. Please make sure that you get Ralph's suitcase to his office. I'll call Philip now. I thought I'd rather bring a breakfast in bed this morning. Good morning, Chelsea. Sorry, Sarah, I didn't know you were going to be here. Can I get you some as well? No, it's fine. I already ate. Should I find Philip to take Sarah to school? No. I think I'm going to take them to my mom's for the weekend. Mm. <coughs> hey, big boy. Hello, How are you feeling? Thanks, Philip. I'll call Ralph. Yes? Morning, sir. Um, Mary sent your luggage. Would you like me to bring it to your office or would you like me to keep it here for you? Oh, I'll just take it before I leave.
Ralph, what are you doing, man? You can't smoke yeah, right no. now. You're gonna make my car stick, man. Get in, let's go. So how's Mary and the kids? Fine, how's Judy? Good, <laughs> but it's gonna be better if you start praying because I told you I'm too tired for this. What? I had a training session. And I know I should have taken a rest, but someone was a little bit pushy. Just get an energy drink or something somewhere. <laughs> if you want to, uh, we can turn back and probably leave tomorrow morning. How long is it gonna take us to get there? Uh, depends if I keep to my speed limit. Uh, about nine hours. So you get us there in time. You know, I need to stop every two hours just uh, for just 20 minutes. Just stop this car. Just stop <laughs> I'm not stopping. If you want to get out, just tuck and roll then. And I okay. hope you know how to do it properly because if you don't, you're probably going to lose a few limbs. I obviously asked the wrong person to take you there. <laughs> Relax. I'm just teasing. And I don't know why you choose to drive if you're scared of the long road. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. You see, you just better get us there safe. <laughs> see this whole thing, me trying to help you getting over your fears. That's what friends are for. And if you're really scared, you can hold my hand. started. Yes, Mom. Mary, why are you really here? What do you mean, Mom? You've not just come to visit me. He cheated on me, Mom. Ralph cheated on me. The receptionist. <laughs> That's Julia, the so-called personal assistant, Monica. How did you find it out? I walked in on them while they were all over each other. I can't believe it. It's shocking. Are you sure? I know what I saw, Mom. I never thought in a million years that this could ever happen to us. I know things weren't great between us. But to do this to me and the children. Johnny. Can you please go outside or watch TV? But I'm mom. busy talking to Gran. Johnny. Okay, mom. Mom, he doesn't know yet. My dear, you didn't deserve this and I'm, I'm, I'm honest, I, I'm disappointed too. <laughs> that cheating scumbag, he's still my husband and the father of my children. You know, you were always the one that uh, fantasized about love and being romantic. Maybe we've got the same weak point. I mean, actually, your dad did the same. <laughs> Ralph is nothing like dad. He hasn't left us. At least not yet. I know, but Ralph made a choice and now you have to decide what you are going to leave. Are you going to fight for your marriage or are you going to run away? 
you know, the only time that God actually sort of give his okay for a divorce is when there is unfaithfulness. So my dear, if you are serious about fighting for your marriage, you will have to forgive and go on with your life. Put it in the past. Mom, please. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Mary. Mom, I lost my faith in God 20 odd years when Dad walked out on us. I'm done talking about this. Listen, my dear. God didn't do that to us or to you. Mom, please. Just stop it. Ralph, are you sleeping? No. Don't you have something to eat? Ah, uh, no, sorry, but I can probably stop at the next gas station for you if you want. Tell me, Frank, why is Judy really doing this child thing? Ach, it's been hard for Judy to accept the fact that we're never going to be having children. She blames herself for the, for the abortion. But the fact that we're never gonna, never gonna have children really seems to cut her deep, actually. Is she ever gonna be enough for you? I mean, she can't give you children. Yes. Judy made a mistake by getting that abortion, but it was a long time ago. She still blames herself for the abortion and the ovarian cancer. <sighs> but it's my job to remind her that I still love her. How can you love somebody that can't give you children? It's not about her children. Yes, I want kids, but God comes first in my life. And if God just wants me to have Judy, It's fine. I know you will provide and give me what I want. And when the time is right, we can adopt. And God will give us the strength to carry on. I hope you like it. <laughs> you talked about it so much. So I decided to buy it. Where did you get this? I I've been looking for it everywhere, but I couldn't find I it. I was at the market last week, and uh, it was actually the last one. The, but when I saw it, I just grabbed it. Oh, Gran, I love it. I love it so much, really. It's a pleasure. You're so precious. Oh, can I put it on? Why not? Let's try. It's beautiful. You look like a princess. <laughs> Thank you, Gran. <laughs> hey, Frank. Ah, this road is bad, man. Goodness. I hope you know where you're going. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna have a ride there. How long is this gonna be? Frank? Frank? Hey! Are you sleeping? What the? What, what now? Oh. You're sleeping, man. No, man, I'm wide awake. I'm asking you questions and you're sleeping. Uh, relax, Ralph. Come on. Oh, don't worry, Ralph. I'm talking to you. When? You didn't hear a word that I said. I asked you a lot of questions. Uh, no, man. Sorry, man. I'm... So how can you not hear me? Uh, you're sleeping here. No, don't worry, Ralph. Don't worry. I got Stop this. Stop it. I'll drive. No, man. I was How asleep. far do we need to go here? Oh, probably about four or five hours still, eh? Oh, goodness. On this road. And you call this a shortcut? Well, uh... No, 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 Frank, really. No, don't worry, man. I got this. Don't you worry. Yo, man. This is dangerous, man. You must save you in your sleep. Yeah, I will, thanks. Yeah. 
effectief. Dat is duidelijk een verandering die nu twee weken terug. Jij is gezendelijk, jij luister voor mij. Jij hebt gezegd dat jouw God zal bij ons komen blijven. Want dat jij hier is, mag jij die mensen weer elkaar. Chief, geef ons niet de kans. Geef God niet de kans. Ik luister niet een van jullie meer. Nie. Ik zoek jullie nou hier uit die jullie spel. Sophia! Sophia! Ze is gepakt in de slang! Oh nou! Dit is alles jouw spel. Jij hebt het gedaan. Alles was recht voor jullie hier gekomen, maar nou als mijn dochter doet. Chief, geef God de kans. Geef jouw God de kans. Jouw dochter slaapt niet. Wanneer een mens doet is, kan je niet asemaal niet. Lijkt het of zij asemaal? Als zij niet wakker wordt, die zal eens weggaan en nooit meer terugkomen. Oké, okay, maar als niks gebeurt niet. Ik ga het brengen. Lord, you are the King of Kings, the Lord Almighty. The angels must bow before you. I ask you for a miracle, Lord. Select her from the dead now in Jesus' name. There's no other name as the name of Jesus. I know my Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise his wonderful name. I bind the devil in Jesus' name. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It happened. I know my Jesus like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his wonderful name. He's the King of Kings, the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Forgive me. I have not believed in the power of your God. Blij alsjeblieft hier, zo lang als wat jullie willen. Dank je, Chief. Bij je dank je. All the glory to God. All the glory to the King of Kings. What are you looking at? I heard a loud noise from over there. Look there. It's probably nothing. Let's enjoy the fire. No, listen, listen. It can't be nothing. I hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that I am wrong. What do you think it was? I'm not sure, but from my experience, that does not sound good at all, eh? Come, let's go check on the food. Frank, 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 Frank. Please. I'm gonna find someone. I found someone. Oh, goodness. Where are we? There's no signal here. There's no signal here, Frank. I'm sorry. I don't have any sexy ladies to pamper or help you. Sexy ladies. Yeah. You're making jokes? We don't even know where we are. Oh, Ralph. The thing is, if I don't make it today, I know where I'm going. Do you?
Hey, Ralph. Yes. Yes. Just tell Judy that I love her. No. No. You will not die on me. You will not die on me. It's just... You will get out of this. You will tell it yourself. You will tell it yourself. You will tell it yourself. Ralph, I'm serious. Stop it. I need Judy to know this, please. Frank, stop it. Stop it. Ralph. Stop it. Yes, watch it. Just told Judy that I really love her. Frank. And I wouldn't have dreamt of any other lady in my life. We are going to get out of it. You will tell it yourself. Ralph, I'm serious. Stop it. Just stop it. I need you to know this. Frank, stop it. Stop it. Frank, I'm going to get out of here. I need to get out. I need to get out, Frank. Ah. Did Sarah tell mom about the guy that asked her out? No. It's a senior guy from school who asked her to his matric farewell dance. When? Uh, next Friday? Sure. Isn't that a bit too late to ask? I said the exact same thing. But you know Sarah, she's so excited there's no stopping her. Sure. Who is the guy? It's a... Uh, and Nathan somebody. Are you going to meet the guy? She said she will bring him around to the house before the dance for us to meet him. Okay. At least <laughs> that'll give a bit of peace of mind. Mom, it's not as if he's going to kidnap her. He's not going to take her out of, out of the country. It's just a magic dance. Yeah, I know. It's just nowadays one can never be too safe. I will make sure she's fine. Okay. Have you already start shopping for a dress? No, not yet. The other night when we went to Ralph's offices, he was obviously too busy with other activities. So there was no time to talk to him about the money for the dress. Why don't you phone him now? Okay, um, Hannah mentioned something about an online boutique. I think I might know the one that she's talking about. Maybe we should just have a look. Hey, what are you guys talking Hi. about? Hi. Hi. We are talking about an online boutique mm. that sells matric dresses. Really? Let's yeah. have a look. Yes. Is it, 
this side. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Yes. Please leave a message oh, after the beep. Oh, that's a wow, Graham. Mm. Isn't it too short? Oh, Graham. Mm. That one's nice. Frank, I can't get any water. I can't find anybody, Frank. In the middle of nowhere. Ah, I can't find anything. Ah, ah, ah. Really in the middle of nowhere. Ah, I couldn't find anybody. Frank. Ah, Frank. 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 go tomorrow and, and out tracks and all that kind of thing. Pastor, what is, uh, what gaan you aan? We moet hom in die bos gekry. Sjoe, bring hom vannacht, let ons hom nie binnen neerle. Gaan voor. What are you doing? You must be careful. Hello, Jos. Good morning, Pastor. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And yourself, Pastor? Fine, fine, fine. Good to see you. Good to Let's see you. go on yesterday. Yeah, it was Mission. great, Pastor. It was very, very great. A lot of the children gave their heart to the Lord. But now Praise I'm, the Lord. Yes, thank you, Pastor. But now I would just like some time to go and explain the word to them if that would be possible. Yes, you can uh, go back tomorrow and take Stacy with you and Sophia with you. All right. If you want. Okay, I would just go and ask them. Thank you very much, Pastor. Ah, okay. Thank you. The Lord will bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor. Be blessed. As I would pray, I would pray for him. Mm. Hello, Mandy. Good morning, Pastor. How's he doing? He still has a fever, but I believe that it will be breaking soon. Don't worry. The Lord is in control. Listen, tomorrow, Josh is going to the kids. If you want to go with, you can go with, and I will come and check on you. Okay, thanks, but I think I'll be staying. I've got a lot of things to prepare for Wednesday and I now have the time to do it before we start with the other missions. Okay, I must go now and prepare my so uh, sermon for tomorrow, but later on I will come back and check on you. Okay. Okay, Mandy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wait for me. I'm done now, so I'll walk with you. Okay, that will be nice. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. morning. Anyone away? Morning. Oh, your granny star. Hey, mom. Hi. Mary. What about going with me to the conference tomorrow? Uh, the lady that was supposed to go with me got sick and I've already bought the tickets. Mum, I really don't want to be around people now. Can't you ask somebody else? All my friends already got tickets, my dear. Huh? Hi. What about Hannah? Hannah wanted to go with but she expects her children from America. And you know, I cannot ask Jimmy, it's a women's conference. <laughs> Let's play safe. Okay. Huh? I'll ask Sarah if she's willing to look after Johnny. And then I will let you know. What time will we be back? I think at late afternoon. Mm. Okay. okay. You know. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Mm. 
I'm glad to see you're awake. I need to have a little chat. Did you see a dress that you liked at the online boutique? Yes, but I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Sarah? Why? Is it Nathan? Sarah, I'm your mother. Mom, Talk to me. It just feels like my life is falling apart. I don't know if I can handle it. You already have a dress in mind. Between your gran and myself, we will be able to sort everything out. Everything will work out for the better. Let's just focus on the dance for now. Yeah, ma'am. We'll see. There's something else. Your gran asked me to go to a ladies' conference with her. A ladies' conference? You don't even like that stuff. I know. But you know your grandmother. She won't take no for an answer. <laughs> yeah. You will need to look after your brother. Mom. Sarah. You know that you won't be able to go anywhere. Not Stop. even to the shop around the corner. Mom, I can take care of myself. Mom. I know that. Sarah, he's your brother. And you won't be able to go anywhere. Fine. What time will you be back? Tomorrow, late afternoon. Mm. Happiness. Let's go and have some coffee and tell Gran that you won't have to go alone. <laughs> hey, Pastor, you're up early. Did you have a rough night? Yeah, it is one of those days. Um, do you mind if I'm sitting here? No, not at all. How is he? His fever broke last night. Praise the Lord for that. Have you found out where he's coming from? No, but one of the guys found a crashed car and the driver is dead. So I don't know if he comes from there. The driver? Where is he now? I think they left him there. Sure. What is the time now? I don't know, Pastor. I don't have a watch with me. But I must go get ready for the meeting. Water. Water. I'll fetch some water. I want water. <laughs> water. Listen, listen. Water. I'm Pastor water. Roy Strauss. Uh, we are here to help you. Water. Listen, she. I want water. She's on her way back with the water. Okay. Okay, let water. me help her. Sir. Oh, sir. Uh, 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 not so fast. Not so fast. Mm. This man is thirsty. Mm. He's thirsty. Mm. Okay. More water. Okay. More water. Calm down, sir. Calm down. We're here to help you. I'll go fetch you. Uh, okay. Okay. Water. She will I come back water. with the water. I want water. Okay. Dear God, I hope you have time for me right now. I know mom's probably going to be crossed at me for not doing my homework like I'm supposed to be. But Lord, can you bring dad back? Mom needs him for hugs and stuff. I miss his smiles. He's the only one who can make a smile. Please, Lord. Amen. Look, do you want to uh, mind to play for us something? Of course not. Ik zeg, is het dan? Ga je nog naar alle eisen toe? En jullie gaan vertellen hulle allemaal van hier. Oké, okay. elke liefde in wie jullie zien van hier naartoe. En jullie vertellen van hier. Oké, okay. hoor jullie maar. Oké, okay. is het raar? Ja, is het raar? Oké. Okay. Oh, je scoort mij gegeven. Ik kan maar gaan naar de video praat. Are you okay? No, no. I'm not Where are you all? Yeah, it's Gharib. Gharib? Yes. Where is Gharib? You're in the Northern Cape at this moment, my friend. Northern Cape? How far away from Appington? You're a bit far from Appington. Can you now. take me there? No, I Did cannot I... take you there at this moment. Sorry, my Why friend. can't you take me there? Um, there is no vehicle at this moment. When, yeah? when can you take me? Uh, we will be able to go in on Friday. What day is it? It's Tuesday today. Tuesday? I can't wait until relax. Friday. Just I need down. to get there now. I relax. can't wait until okay. Friday. Listen, I can't just wait come until sit with us. I'll introduce you to some people. I don't you know, know these people. You're going to know them when I introduce you to them. Get to know them, talk a bit to them. 
Just come and join us, please. How's your leg feeling? How does it look? Okay, um, just listen. I would like to ask you, were you driving the car? How do you know about the car? Listen, the local people came to me. All of us told us about the accident. And by looking at you, you were really part of it. No, I wasn't driving the car. Your name is? Ralph. Everyone, please welcome Ralph. He's going to be joining us. Here you go, my friend. Sit down. Ralph, very, pleased to meet you. Very good. You are very welcome. Yes. Thank you. Josh. Pastor. Please pray for us. Pleasure, Pastor. Let us please bow our heads. Lord, I thank you for the gathering of friends and family, Lord. They were two or more are in your name, Lord. So you are with us, Lord. I thank you for please coming now and touching everyone here, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I want to quote from John 3, verse 3 this day. Uh, unless you are not born again, it is the words of Jesus Christ by himself. Unless you are not born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. You cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. In 1 John 1 verse 9, he says, listen, if you confess your sins, he will cleanse you. He will wash you of his blood. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus is standing open, open arms and wait for you. If you come to him, he wants to save you. Don't turn your back on Jesus Christ. Revelation 3 verse 20 says that he is busy knocking on your door, on your heart's door. If you open the door, he will come in and be with you. Don't turn your back on him today. I ask you, I plead to you that Jesus wants you. It is a real thing, hell and heaven. And you only can go to heaven or to hell. There is no other place to go, only heaven or hell. And you must make your decision today. You cannot Ralph, make the, your what? decision tomorrow. What? What do Please, you want? I Listen. ask you, invite. Ralph, Listen, what Jesus do you want? Christ. If you want to talk about this, we Just can talk leave about. me, just leave me. You cannot keep on running away from your past, my friend. What do you know about, about my life? Listen, you know listen, nothing. Stop it. You know stop, nothing. Stop, it. stop it. You know nothing about me. Stop it. Come. On. Can't you take me to Uppington? Not exactly, but uh, we can discuss it, and I will help you later. Mary? Mary? Are you okay? I'm fine. No, you're not fine, my dear. No, you're not <coughs> fine. What's wrong? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> Johnny prayed for Ralph to come back so that we could smile again. <laughs> my dear, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, what happened back there? Some Christians think they know everything. Just because they know God, it gives them somehow the right to say whatever they want, when they want to. Ralph, you must understand that a lot of Christians did not know what means Christianity. So what is Christianity about? Let me explain you like this. Christianity means, first Christian means, to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. If you follow Jesus Christ direct in his footsteps, that is Christianity. I can explain it like this. Before you build a house, you must have a strong foundation. Now, our foundation is Jesus Christ, the rock. But a lot of Christians build on other foundations, like wealth, like money. And then the building crash. But I will give you later on a lot of verses and then you can study the Bible. I don't have a Bible. Not at all? No. Don't worry. I will check. Maybe I have an extra Bible. I will give it to you. Thanks. Mm. 
Morning, love. It's time to get ready. Mm. Mom, just a little while longer, please. You know what? Some things never change, even if you get older. Oh, oh Mom, really? Oh. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to ask Hannah to look after the kids while we're away. I'm not comfortable with them being alone. Mom, really, Sarah will be fine looking after Johnny. I already told her not to go anywhere before we're back. And she's got more than enough to keep her busy with. And Johnny? TV will be his entertainment. Okay. Drink your coffee and get ready. Meanwhile, I'm going to make them something for breakfast. Okay. Um, Mom? Yeah? What time do you want to leave? Uh, we need to be there at 9, so I think at 8 we'll be fine. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, Gran. Yay. What are you cooking? Spaghetti bolognese. Smells delicious. For this afternoon? Mm. Yeah, it's for the afternoon. It's yeah. afternoon. Uh, food will be ready. It will be ready in 15 minutes' time. Mm. Uh, would you please be so kind to switch off oh, the, the stove? stove then, yeah. yeah. And you see, the stove needs a little bit of cleaning <laughs> if you love your mum, yeah, grand mum, enough. Mm. Where's your mum? I think she's still finishing up. She'll be done. Okay, all right. Thank okay. you. Okay, you go check. Bye. Morning, John. Where are you going, Mommy? I'm attending a ladies' conference with your grandmother. Can I come with? Unfortunately not, my son. It's only for the ladies. Okay, Mommy. You and your sister are going to stay at home while we attend the conference. You must please behave yourself. Okay, Mommy. Hi, love. We need to go now. Just a minute, Mom. John, are you fine to stay at home with your sister? Yes, Mommy. Sarah, please make sure that when we leave, you lock all the doors. Yes, Mom. Please close the door. When are they going to be back? Thanks for coming with. How did you find it? To be honest, this whole love and forgiveness and grace, it's, it's not for me. I'm not ready to hear it now. Don't be too hard on yourself. You've been through a lot lately. Can I give you some advice? Well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I think. You must stop focusing on Ralph and what he did and place it all in God's hands. Trust in his love being enough for you and the kids. Yeah, uh, maybe. Well, obviously Jimmy is not yet back from his fishing trip. Good old Jimmy. In the 10 years that we've been married, he was a real care for me. After your dad left. But I first had to ask God to help me to forgive him before I could go on with my life. Mom, I'm happy for you. I'm really happy for you. Let's go and see what the kids are up to. Yes.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, mother. So, did you bring us something? Ha ha ha. Yay! Na 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 na. Why aren't you guys in bed? Mom, it was Johnny. It was just so irritating. Na 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 na. It's way past your bedtime. Oh, to bed you go. Night! Nighty night. Mom, thank you. And we just prayed for him and he got healed. So all the glory to God. That's awesome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. How was the mission that you went on with Josh the other day? It was great. What are you smiling about? Well, let me just start by telling you that God is working in this place. The only problem is the people are too blind to see it. What went on between you and Rolf the other day? Nothing. It nothing. didn't look like nothing to me when he grabbed you. Listen, God showed me stuff about him in his life, stuff that's going on. So I went to him and I told him about it. Josh, you can't do that. Sometimes, when God shows you something, you have to pray about it first before you go and tell them. No, okay, but wait. I had a feeling inside of me that I need to tell this guy about what's going on. So that's what I did. I went to him and I told him about it. That's all. Josh, Christianity is not about a feeling. It's about something you know. Sometimes if God shows something to you, you have to think first if it will glorify God at that, that moment. Open it up at John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Josh, Christianity is not a feeling. If it was, how do we have proof that God is real if our emotions change every second? Just think, what would women do if Christianity was about a feeling? The more time you spend with God, the more you'll you'll get to know how to treat people. Rolf, how are your legs and your ribs? <sighs> still so past, it's still so. Do you think about our conversation of last time? <sighs> yes, but I have a lot of questions. You must know you can ask questions. You cannot receive answers. If you don't ask But how do I know God won't leave me again? Listen, God never left us. It is us that push Him away. God will never leave or forsake you. It's what my friend said. The one that died in the crash. Sure. Jesus will take you through this. Rams, come and sit with us at the fire. This is not. Hello, Mandy. Hi, Pastor. What did the local guys do with the driver they found? They buried him. Where? Oui? I don't know, sorry, Pastor. Why? Did you know him? No, but it is the friend of Rob. Oh, no. That might be the reason why he's so rude. I'll try to find out. are useless. We will not have any worth. So tonight, I want to read for us Acts 20 verse 24. Acts 20 verse 24. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task of the Lord Jesus has given me the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. I'm going to say that again. The task of testifying to the good news 
of God's grace. If you are asking the question, what am I doing on earth? The answer is simple. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. You are worthy to God, even if you don't feel like it. Our God doesn't do things according how we feel. He sometimes does things to get us out of our comfort zone so that we must trust Him more. Yes. When we give our hearts to God, we immediately think we have to change everything. <laughs> no, if you think like that, you're missing the point of the relationship with God. God is all about relationship. So we must start making more time for Him. And by doing that, you do not have time to do wrong things, even when it gets hard. And if you slip up, don't worry, we're human. God won't leave you. He will tell you what you need to do if you are willing to ask Him. Don't worry. God has all the answers, but you need to change for Him and for no one else. I'm going to sing this next song, and when I'm done, you're more than welcome to go to bed or spend a little more time around the fire. The song's name is Derailed by Grace. May God bless. As a runaway train I'm going fast But I'm heading away The rails of life Left me away From the plans of God Through mistakes I've made Mistakes I've made I'm the captain now, and I left God behind. I'm getting lost in my thoughts and my mind. But I'm going on, cause I'm too proud to say, Lord help me now. I'm on the wrong rails. I'm on the wrong rails. I'm a train, right away, I'm upside down, Lord, save me now, for I repent, for I have sinned, save me now from the rails of life, I'm derailed by grace, I'm derailed by grace, I'm derailed by grace. Mist up, Lord. Listen, God, I never listen. I watch porn, God. I have a fear. I have a fear with another woman, God. My wife, I hate my wife, God, and my children. I hate them all, God. I hate them all. 
I'm tired, God. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being in control. I just want to give it all to you. I want to give my... I want to give my life. I want to give my heart. I want to give everything. I want to give everything, God. I want to give you everything. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, God. Help me, God. To be a better person, God. And to follow you. To follow you, God. I know you never left me. I'm yours, God. I'm yours. Ralph. I'm yours. That is why God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for you, to shed His blood for you because you are precious. That's amazing. Ralph, are you ready to praise the Lord? Amen. 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 Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Listen, tomorrow morning, uh, we must go home. Uh, Rolf, I think you need this. Oh, it, thanks, Pastor. You don't want you to looking like you escaped from a battle of wild animals. <laughs> thanks, Pastor. Pastor, um, I'm going to ask you tomorrow, before you drop me off at work, would you come with me to Frank's house? Of course, Ralph. I will do that. Thanks, first. I re uh, remember now, I forgot to tell you about the local guys buried for Frank nearby. But uh, after I baptize you, if you like, we can go there, find out by ourselves. Please, Pastor. Please, I would really appreciate that. Are you sure you want to leave tomorrow morning? Yes, Pastor. I'm going to miss this place. But you can come with uh, next time. I would like that. Can I bring the family? Yes, that will be terrific. Awesome. Thanks, Pastor. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit.
Rolf? Rolf, what happened? You had an accident. Rolf, where's Frank? Please, Lord, help her. What are you looking at? Get back to work. Rolf. Forgot this in the bus. Rolf, just like you made a choice at a camp to get to know God, you also have to make that choice here. Don't live a double life. It's just not worth it. Thanks, Pastor. Pleasure, brother. Ralph, if you worry that anyone would walk on on us, they're all busy. I can't. What happened to your leg? I was in an accident. What happened? I was in an accident, doesn't matter. What about the baby? There's no baby. Just stop it. Why are you saying no to something you need and desperately want? Because I'm cheating on my wife with a woman that lies to me just to get my attention and doesn't even know she doesn't have to do that. Because she's worth more than that. You chose to lie to your wife, and all the time you could have said no. If you can lie to her, you can lie to me as well. You made me think you loved me, and all this time you used me. You're a coward. You made it easy. Monica, I'm sorry. I'm also sorry for thinking you're worth it. At least I know the truth now. Monica. Good afternoon, Julia speaking. Hi, Julia. Good afternoon, sir. Would you mind calling them into the boardroom for me? No problem, sir. Thanks for holding on. In times that I didn't make it easy to stay. It's no problem, sir. And um, I'm going to spend some time with Mary and the kids. That's fantastic, sir. I will take care of things while you're not here. Please take your time. Yeah, Julia. Bye. Bye bye, sir. Lord, please help me to fix what I destroyed. Help me to be a better father for my children and a husband for my wife. Please, Lord. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, you too. Did you get hold of Mary yet? Um, I'm still busy, sir. Um, she went to her mother's. I'm going to call there now. Okay. Is the men inside? Yes, they are waiting, sir. Thanks, Julia. I was in a car crash. What? <sighs> We were driving and we got lost and the next moment 
I was in the ring. How's Frank? Is he okay? It doesn't make it. They took me to a mission station and um I gave my, I gave my life to Christ. I don't know, I know how you guys feel about it, and I, I don't know what you think about it. I'm gonna open this meeting with the Bible, and I. I could you call him back? No, Jim. No, Jim. No. No. Everyone has the right to make their own choices. And I respect that. Is there anybody else that wants to go? I want to read for us out of 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12. Thanks, Philip. You need to get me there as quick as possible. Will do, sir. Hello? Hello, may I please speak with Mary? It's Mary speaking. Hi Mary, um, Rolf asked if it's possible for you to maybe come through to the office, he'd like to talk to you. If he wants to see me, he can come to me. Okay, I'll tell him. Thanks, Julia. Hi, right, Chelsea. What's going on? What happened? Uh, it was an accident. Chelsea, I'm going to spend this week with my family. So, relax, take the week off. So, she'll love and trust you if you treat her right. Thanks, Chelsea. Exactly what I want to do. Exactly what I want to do. Hey, Gran. Hi. Thank, Thank you, you Gran. Oh, little cookie monster. <laughs> uh, who called? It was Julia, Mum. She said that Ralph wants to see me. I told her that he could come here. Have you already decided what you're going to do? I have an idea, but I'm not really sure. You're going to take him back? Sarah is your father. How can you forgive him after what he's done to you? I haven't forgiven him, not yet. But I have to trust in God. Trust in God. After you let this happen. We brought this on to ourselves. Really? At the conference I talked about unity and what it stands for. And I have to give it a try. I can't just... Sarah! Sarah! Don't worry, don't worry. Sarah! Are you okay? <laughs> Mom! Oh. Dad doesn't love us anymore! Don't say that. Please, please, please don't say that. I miss Dad, Mom. I miss him the way that he was. Dad doesn't love us anymore. <laughs> you don't have to be brave, my girl. You can cry. I've cried a million of tears. Why did he pick her? I. I just don't get it, Mom. I don't understand. Did he wish he never had us? You must keep your faith and just pray that the Lord will keep his family together.
Dad! What happened to you, Dad? I got something I want to show you. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, Dad. I'm sorry I had to see that. Dad? I'm sorry. What's happening? I'm sorry. They touched me. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Is this a result of your affair? Look what you've done to Sarah. Are you happy? That's our baby girl, Ralph. Sorry? Is that all you have to say? Sorry? I've nothing, baby. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> Ralph, I need more than a sorry. You've broken our children. You've broken me! How long has it been coming on? Too long. Too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry! You are sorry! No, Ralph. I you thought about this. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Please give me a second chance, Mary. <laughs> a second chance? Why? Tell me why. I don't deserve it. I know I don't deserve it. Do we deserve it? No, Mary. What did me? What did I do? I was selfish. I only thought about myself. Yeah. Too How long? I need to know. It's been more than a year. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. What did I do wrong? It won't happen again. What did I nothing, do wrong? Nothing. You did nothing wrong, Mary. It was all me. It's what all does she me. have that I don't have? It's all me. It's me. It's me, Mary. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's me. How do I know that it's not going to happen again? Because the only third person <laughs> in this marriage will be God. I gave my heart to the Lord, Mary. I gave my heart to the Lord. I'm going to do this with him, Mary. With him. At the conference I spoke about forgiveness and grace and happiness. And here you are asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve it. I know. I, I never. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. I love you, but I hate you at the same time. And I want you here and I want you gone. With God, we can fix this. With God, we can <laughs> fix this, Mary. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry. I love you, but things need to change. Anything, anything, anything. You have to break all contact with Monica. She's gone, she's gone, she's gone, Mary. It's just yeah. you, it's just you and the children. I know everything I did was wrong. I never, ever appreciated you or the children or anything. I just... It was all about me. It was all about me. 
promise me you will be open and honest with me. Everything. With God's help, I'll do everything. I still have a way. I still got a long way. Maybe, but God changed. God changed me. God changed me, Mary. I'm sorry. Do we have to go for counselling? Yes. Yes, anything. And we have to give the 110%. Anything. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>